All right. Welcome to another Dead Angel stream. Uh, my client wanted to be a guy chilling. I had like a balloon pops up. Let me read a description that he wanted before I start drawing. Do, 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 do. Uh, red swim shirt, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. All right. So let's start. I suppose what kind of pose will be interesting for a very big character. Important to start drawing. I make in a few stick men around. Go with the pose. Alright, there's Dragon. Hello. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine right now. I'm super happy, to be honest. This character is a bowl, by the way. So, uh, yeah. He sent me references, but I'd rather not show them for obvious reasons. So, I got my Piranha Plant Tissue, Resolve in parentheses. That is always great. Oh yeah. Something I want to point out is if you go to my YouTube channel, I did like a drawing of Magnus for a commission and I decided to just post the stream there. I mean, why not, right? It's not like thousands of people are going to watch this video, am I right? Am I right? Yeah. But while I'm at it, why not adding a jug into it and say hashtag daddy in a freaking thumbnail, right? Maybe like a handful of people that watch my stream are going to watch the stream again and be like, ah, that's funny. God, I was wrong. It's almost at 500 views. I had one dislike on it and I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> I don't want to be popular on YouTube. Being popular on freaking YouTube fucking sucks. The thing is like I don't really care but at the same time I kind of do Let's 
It's quite a big face when you look at it. Well, it doesn't matter. Debt you to money. Money, 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 money. I don't want that freaking dirty ass you to money. I'm completely satisfied by streaming, making commissions, and everything. I don't see, like, I feel it would be unfair if I post my stream and then get the revenue from it because I'm listening a lot of indie musicians so I'd rather just like get them to have the exposure more than me but that's only because oh oh okay well, I guess I'll need to reopen this His horn goes like that, okay. It's very square faced. Alright. What was going on though? YouTube algorithm is screwed up anyway, <laughs> yeah that's too. That and the way to take down, demonetize, like you're guilty until you can prove your innocence, but even then the company has the bigger leads on this. Whatever you do, that company will always screw you up. And they're like, oh okay. Hey, guess what? I need to draw muscle for a change. Isn't that cool? Character is all beefed up. Well, like even though I want to use a content for fair use, still I like, get like taken down without you having any notice on everything. Like for example, I was talking about my favorite music album from 2018 that I discovered and everything. I put one second, one freaking second of a song from Marshmallow one motherfucking second we cannot upload the video like why <laughs> I'm not gonna make revenue with it I have barely I have like right now it's 210 subscribers on my channel are you afraid that this freaking video is going to be like I understand that you don't want this video to become viral and then I have to go with issues and everything but like for one fucking second so I'm like okay fuck it and there is no way that YouTube is going to protect small channel that just started you know like there's no way you need at least 10,000 people and it's like there to the day you're like hey uh, I got a problem young Jack Craden what's up You just woke up and you watch my stuff? Yeah, wake up pretty good. Are oh, you gonna be pissed at the end? Or maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, on a positive note. Uh, yeah, that's it. Got my Piranha Plant issue kind of fixed. I just need to wait for Nintendo to send me a new code. <clears throat> I was pretty happy uh, 
I wanted to make a kind of video, like a silly video about me trying to call Nintendo again. See how it goes and everything, because the the full, the the last five time I tried, they were so overwhelmed overwhelmed with the uh, calls that they had to refuse many. And well, you know, I was kind of like okay, so I tried like for two days to contact Nintendo about my code. Today, uh, I tried the French service really fast i was like a quick quick thinking let's go fast let's go let's take a how do, how do thumbs work first of all i want to do my hand that goes more on this side wow this end sucks okay and I was pretty happy that the French side of Nintendo like, was very fast. I thought with the dude, I forgot his name because I'm terrible remembering names. And he was pretty gentle, kind, and very patient. <laughs> he told me that the last five days has been about Piranha Plant. Like every call he answers is Piranha Plant. He's like, yeah, you know, he doesn't mind, he's paid for it. So basically, now I have my. What, what was that? Okay, well. Got a friend that called me. I'll reply later. What was I talking? Yeah, so basically, he's gonna send me. A new code on the 24 hours <laughs> if I don't get it then I can call again and just said like I have a number like an assistant number or reference number so I'll just need to talk to somebody say this is my number so like they will have the problem associated with the reference so they will know what to do as soon as possible piranha plan isn't bad in smash pete kind of wonkly though but i don't care i'm gonna main that freaking plant i bought smash mostly to play with that plant it kind of sucks that i don't have it already i wouldn't be streaming if i had it <laughs> Just kidding, I will have to take a break from Smash. You know, again, I had to go through the... Yes, I checked through my drone mail and everything. <laughs> that was pretty funny. This was like... My most comment on... Uh, on my kind of issue that I posted on Twitter. You know, <laughs> just like... I can get my piranha plant, you know. Like, I know people doesn't know that I'm not stupid. There's no way to prove it. But I know how, like, Google works. <laughs> I know how my Gmail works since I use it daily. And I legit just wrote Nintendo. I searched for Piranha Plant. I searched for anything. <laughs> Many times. It wasn't the code is just not there. Like, if it was there, I wouldn't have that issue. But it's still appreciated that so many people are like telling me, hey, have you tried this? Pointing out the obvious. It was fun though. I, I must admit, I had fun just like talking about it, make it fun of, you know. I'm not disappointed or anything. I'm just bummed out. I really want to play with PP. Hey, Hydra, how's it going? One day I'll get it, one way or another. Uh, it feels like I'm gonna get it soon anyway, so. Yeah. 
How's the stream, Idra? Can you hear me clearly? And I forgot to ask on Perso yesterday if the stream is acting up or not. Yesterday was kind of a mess and I don't understand why. No one will understand why. I can hear you? Good. I cranked the mic to the maximum. You know, I don't know if it has to do anything with it, but I know yesterday I also changed the battery of my mic since it was starting to die. So I don't know like, if it changed anything or not. We'll never know. At this point, we'll never know. The issue is being fixed. I kind of want to make a stream with Idra where we just play Aspirana Plant and try it out. Let's do it. Well, when I get it. Like right now, I'm just waiting for the code. I got a new text message. Who is that? Huh. I asked Nintendo also about the Piranha Plant glitch because I was like, do you have any question? I was like, yeah, actually, there's a rumor, blah, blah, blah. And they said that the headquarters didn't get any notification about that glitch to warn other people to do it. It was actually surprised that I asked that. So I don't know if it's actually real or not. So just be careful just in case. Destroy all the Mario. My favorite thing to do with Mario is to fucking spike people, man. With the side A. My friend doesn't understand, like I'm not, I've been destroyed, but I'm very good at spiking. So when I play with friends, I take character that spike or capable of spiking. The ball is looking really good, thanks. I need to fix like his stupid motherfucking hands. Am I going to get flag if I decide to do the nipples? I guess not. <clears throat> Here's a normal at the dead intro steps. I'm dabbing, you can't see it. Wait, I'll put my uh, camera on for a bit. There you go, dead intro fucking nipple tips. You go to the belly button of the character. You shift to the middle of his shoulders like here you take the size of the, ta the, the table <laughs> the head which is about this size you double it that means here if you follow the line you do a line right there and this is where the nipple should be kind of I mean, I feel like the nipple should be... Well, the peck is not very... 
I feel like the nipple should be around here and here. And there you go, you have it. I just picked my nose in front of my camera, you freaking doofus. I have nose problem, okay? This nose drill is always dry. And I have blood coming out of this nose very often. So it's always like the itchiness. It's healing, it's itchy, and I'm like, you fucking idiot. Doesn't matter. That's it for the dead intro tips. I'm taking off my camera because I go and want to pick my nose more. You discover my darkest secret. This is a video that doesn't go on YouTube. Uh, the funniest part about YouTube, which is also not the funniest part. Got my head stuck in the microwave, your nipple tutorial wasn't very clear. What the fudgical? Okay, first of all, you go to the belly button, right? You got like... The head is like a reference for the size of your characters. So... Take a brush it's around the size of your head here take another layer you got one head one head okay fuck it one head two head three head four five Six, seven, eight, okay? This is how you go, right? I'm just gonna lower it a bit. So we got the first head, head, which is like the size for everything. Second head is related to the nipple. The third head is related to the belly button. The fourth is related to the crotch area. The fifth is related for mid thigh. <clears throat> the sixth goes to... Uh, the knees. The seven goes to the foot. This is how it goes. So basically, when you want to do nipples to make sure that they are in the good place, you go to the third head, which is the belly button, and you go. You do a line that goes right to the middle of the shoulders. Okay, a line that goes right into the middle of the shoulders. You look at your head. You look at the second leg ahead, which is about here to be honest, or like depending on the body type. The body is kind of crooked, so this should be around here. So the nipples are where the the cross goes, right here. You get it? You have to make a triangle to the belly button to the mid shoulders then take the second head point of like reference and make a line and when the light meet this is where the nipple goes is that clear want me to explain it another time an art you got it first time you were just fucking oh, okay you're fucking with me god damn it bury the cleric you're here hello bro nipple tutorial isn't it fun but now i got my foot stuck in the toilet well it doesn't look like it's my problem so uh you're on your own You know, Beric, you started their lunch break? Okay, good. I was like, maybe I should DM him that I'm gonna start drawing his picture. But then after that, I realized that you might not be available. 
so i decided to go with my last client instead for today and tonight probably gonna do the sketch of yours if i'm willing to if i feel like it i probably will because i'm freaking bored thank you for the tutorial my pleasure if you have any art question i'll do my best to explain it Sometimes it's very ambiguous and I don't know how to explain it because it's something I've been doing for so long uh, that it just comes naturally without being like too uh, douchey about it. It's like walking, so it's like, can you explain how to walk? Sure, you, uh, you, you do that, right? You just don't think about it. But it's about the same process for me. I mean, I'm not doing the best muscle and body ever, but you know. Yeah, I'm only available about an hour from now. I'll be available this evening, but you don't need to wait for me if you... Uh, yeah, indeed, because I'm planning on recording it anyway. So if you want to watch it, it will be on YouTube. I'll be a... Uh, I'll be a gentle boy. You're doing great on the muscles, thank you. I'm gonna lie, for wellness is the only thing I wanted to draw, like muscle characters. But like everything, it gets old, you know, so like you want to expand your your anatomy, your like experience new ways of drawing new characters or something. And then it works in like for like almost three, four years now. I've been drawing only the same kind of body, not a belly or not. Well, I'll try to stop if I can. Yeah, of course, I'll DM you if I'm starting. If you're not there, it's no biggie. If you're there, it's cool. I mean, there's no... Uh... But it was since I heard that album, to be honest. I freaking love Love with the Dead. Uh, Dance with the Dead. Favorite. Favorite band. I wish I knew them earlier. That would have been my life, my, my life would go better. <laughs> I like the big boys to draw bearing the clear rick. Yeah, bearing the clear rick. So yeah, I end up drawing big guys a lot at the time, so it makes a point to switch up and draw other kind of character. Yeah, and creature too. This guy is ugly as fuck.
Do you guys like miss old electronic? I mean, not old, but like. Do you miss that time where like dubstep was a thing? You know? <laughs> And you were like, oh man, have you heard the new dubstep stuff? And then you're like fucking amazed by it. Now it's just like so in the mainstream. I gotta miss when dubstep was new, to be honest. Now it's just, it's there. Some still like it, some don't. I mean, it's pretty rare. It's pretty hard to keep on making dubstep since you know what kind of bass line you're gonna have. It's always a rip, 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 rip. Some still pull it very, like, well, some just stopped and did some EDM instead, which is still good. Compliment AD instead, look at his artwork, eh, I got enough compliments already. Everybody should be okay with taking compliments. It's still you keep forgetting, because I was listening to some weird ass dubstep. Even though it wasn't called dubstep. And that's the thing I'm trying to tell people that I was cool before they were cool. <laughs> Just kidding. But like, I was listening to Substance and Fra Bass. I think it's called like that. It's really very, very, very dark and the dubstep y and ambience. It's very horrifying. Like, at one point in my life, I was looking for dark, ambient music to listen to as I draw. And that gave, like, I found this dude, and I was like, fuck yeah. I'll just listen a bit, I'll just, I'll just leave it for a while. I don't really care about the music I listen anyway, so... I'll just... <laughs> At one point I want, you know you draw the, mu the music game you play, I wanted to put that song for you. It's to weird you out a bit, but like I realized that that song is like 7 minutes long. I listen to older electronic music all the time, but it's like French electro house music. <laughs> French electro house music. I'm a weird kid. The seven, yes, yeah, seven minutes of of what you're listening now. This. I still think that this dude is a freaking genius. Even though it's not really a music style that you'd put at a random party, right? It's really like a personal music choice that you just leave on the back while you're working on something. But this dude was like making dubstep before dubstep was super cool. And I was like, listen to that shit and nobody liked it except for me. I'll put something else, it's just... The other dubstep artist I'm listening is uh, Eptic. Eptic is really my favorite. I'm afraid. I freaking love dubstep. But I wanted to make my favorite electronic music. I was wondering if I should just do a, a dubstep video because I got so many dubstep artists that I love. I'm a creepy McGee, okay? If it sounds weird, count me in. <laughs> How much does it say how we're fine?
I wish Shape Dick was like. Now we get Montreal more often. Do you have any tip for drawing snout muzzle of furry character? Uh, yeah, I will. I'll just put some music that is more general for everybody. Like pegboard nerds. Fucking love his music. <sighs> I don't really have like any art tips other than do your best. Okay, well, then uh, let's like have another. Where the fudge cake? Here, perfect. Here, we got another layer. When I'm drawing like muzzle, it's always like a base for me, kind of. You know, like you have a characters. Let's say a bear. So like for bear, I know bears have like thick, care like muzzle. So this is our do it. You get started and you're like, all right. So you got the bear face already going. Tip for it, I don't have any tip for it because it's really just, you go. You just go. You just keep in mind what kind of muzzle the animal you want to be drawn as. Like for a bear as a thicker muzzle. But it's really a nose. There. If you mean the front one. And again, keep the example for bear. I think when I do like a circle for the face, uh, the middle of the the cross I'm doing should be above the muzzle. And then you try to work around it. You know that the mouth is here. So you have to do like a kind of... Well, it looks more like a dog if you ask me. Like for a bear, we'll go thicker. Then you close the eyes. Wee. Okay, it's really done very quick, but I don't know if it helps or anything. I just feel like when I'm drawing a character, one of the main features I need to draw first is always about the snout. When the snout is done, it feels like it's give me a better guide. So yeah, leave a like and subscribe for more art tutorial. I'm not very good. At explaining to be honest oops wrong layer boop boop beep beep boop beep beep dee beep dee dee doop doop deep deep doop We put it freaks on nature. I hope I'll get like my my code like tonight or something for PP. Do you have a Discord? Well, yeah, but I don't share it because I don't use it. So, no. It's really just for extreme personal use. It's not really like... I don't want to give my Discord to anybody. First of all, 
when I want to be alone, I want to be alone. Kind of dope, you know? Call on Vinch, there's no homo. Okay. Speaking of, I should say. Did I finish uh, Dan today too? Pat, I mean. Dragonite Pat. Like it was probably like mostly done from yesterday. Just today I woke up and I had the light and caught it a day. <laughs> you like this? Good. That's why I was just curious. No problem. I need to find out this character has got hairs in certain places. It sounds really weird said like that. Oh wait, this hair doesn't go like that. Okay, well, good thing I watch. I have a bit of hair coming out here. Big Dragonite is looking good, thank you. Like in one of this picture he has hair coming here and goes to the bottom but in the other reference it sent me he has like basically no hair so I don't know if I should or should not I'm gonna head off thanks for streaming that intro my pleasure have a good, wonderful day That's another thing I wasn't used to. People thanking me for streaming. <laughs> Looks very good. I'm glad you think so. Have a wonderful day. Let me check the reference correctly. You're providing us entertainment and I'm learning when I watch your stream. I'm glad you do that. For a while I wanted to do like a kind of uh, streaming with the intro kind of deal. Like on every Monday I will just start streaming and I will start a subject. And then people can join too if they want to, kind of deal. You know, like I draw as you draw, and then we just like hashtag Monday stream that intro thingy, and then just have a little like personal thingy, learning, having fun in the process, kind of deal. But yeah, I don't have time for that. I don't really have time to provide like, like. <laughs> I don't know how to say it otherwise, it's just like... Like with my comics, with commissions, it's a lot of time consuming things I have to do. Because art always takes time. So I kind of have to just... work <sighs> get used to it that I appreciate being entertained good uh, it's time to stretch if you're watching you <sighs> stretch you Fucking in! I gotta control S2.
You know what's gay? Control S. <laughs> yeah, Control S is very gay. Pop. Being extra gay in 2019. 2019. I don't like saying 2019. It doesn't sound good. 2018 sounded right, right? You just say it like it just make your tongue go and I love it. 2019. 19 doesn't sound too good. <laughs> I'll get over it. But it sounds better than 2020. 2020, it's like, uh. <laughs> but after that, it will sound very really weird. 2021, when 2021, bro. 2022, oh, uh, uh. There's something about leg muscle that is just so like complicated to pull out. The more I draw them, the more I came in turn to hate them. So this is why my latest drawings, I do some of it, but I don't do hell of it. Also, I like when less equals more in my drawing. Like when you're doing an arm and you see like bumps that imply that there's muscle there, right? I don't like when you can see every fiber of the body. It doesn't sound right to me. And in the end, it's not appealing. It doesn't feel natural. There's not a natural flow behind it. It just tells me that your character is deshydrated. I know a couple dude that does that. Not that his art is not good. I just don't like the way he draw muscles or anything. But he's a very talented dude. I forgot his name though. Like you come in turn that Hey, you know what? I talked to a shit ton of people in like in the last few years. You think I would remember anybody? No. I have a terrible name memory. Yes I mean yes me do. Yes, I mean, yes, me do. Yes, I mean, yes, me do. No. I want a fucking Oscar. Who's talking to me? Oh, fuck that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not for it. 2020 is going to be hella. There are going to be so many inside jokes in 2021. When is going to be 420? This is always say 80, 18, 4, 20s. Fuck yeah. In French, I mean. 
All right. Well, I think I'm good to ink. That's another thing to, <laughs> in commission. I make sure that the sketch looks good. Then I ink the sketch. But in comics, it feels like I just want the ID to be out. So if I don't like correct my sketches just a bit before I ink them, I feel insane. I go insane. I mean. I think I can get rid of that. And I put some more. Quatre-vingt, vingt, quatre-vingt. <laughs> Perfect. So at last I was watching your stream at my school Smash Bros Club and someone saw the Dragonite and guess what the fuck am I looking at? It made me feel very awkward. Yeah, welcome to my world. Oh, well, you're watching somebody stream art. You're not the one that posed them, right? It's the day with drawing anthropomorphic characters make me scared to just show my art to the public knowing that it's now associated so much with furry and when you ask anybody what's a furry they will always answer the weirdest shit ever so yeah it's not like i'm drawing anthropomorphic character because i love it and it's my job So cry me a river, you fucking pleb. It kinda suck though. Not gonna lie, if I was drawing superhero instead, you know what, I wouldn't have that questions. But since I'm putting like a, an animal face on my characters or dragons or whatever, oh, then you're a furry. I mean, I really don't care. It's fine, they are brands, animal characters, yeah, whatever. It, it, it's just like... I don't know. It's like if I was just drawing Bugs Bunnies all the time. Would it be a furry? Also, there's no way I can draw something without people pointing out that it might be a little sexualized. I can understand, I kind of see it, but it was not in my intent most of the time. Mostly now, when I was on Fur Affinity 24-7, yes it was, but I grew up to be tired of it. I am scared every time somebody is asking me do you take commission. And the picture is just like something extremely dirty. I'm like, eh. I mean, the profile pack.
I mean, even though you're into that kind of stuff, doesn't mean you have to expose it to the public. This is why, like, people have bad reputation. I'm gonna show my king to the world on Twitter. And then you like a lot of stuff. It's like, make everybody looks bad. <laughs> Like people don't call Kellogg's a bunch of furry for using Tony the Tiger as a mascot. Yeah, exactly. Every time I see your art on anything similar, I think to myself, your Twitter is public, so if you like to retweet this, anyone can see it. Are you sure you want to interact with this post? <laughs> Every time I say, yes, I must support my favorite artist. Yeah, that's that's your thing. The, the thing is like, it's your account. You retweet what you want to see, and you retweet what you want to support, and you see whatever the fudge, you know? Some people don't think too much about it. I'm trying to keep my content as clean as possible. I have my family that's following me. They've been telling me like, ah, oh, your heart is funny. I'm like, ah, thank you. It just, I think I had this talk before that when I'm not in the furry like community on the internet and I show my art to other people that aren't part of the internet, for example, my grandparents or my uncle or my aunt or whatsoever, they don't see my characters as sexualized. They just see the character as being very well drawn and they are proud of me. They're like, wow. My Mr. Bear's parents, like they tell me like how proud they are of me for being able to pull out all these artworks and be able to make a living out of it. It's super appreciated. It's crazy. But if you just look at my art in the internet, it's another story. This is why I'm getting nervous every time somebody is like, can I see your art? You know, I, I keep the cleanest ones in my phone to make sure like if they ask for it. I know one time one dude, one Mr. Bear friends was like, can I see your art uh, on your Twitter via my phone? And I was extremely nervous and he was like, oh, you're nice, you know, that's it. Nothing. It was just, oh, it's nice, you know? And this is all I want. <laughs> this is all I ask. He's a really chill dude. Uh, I sometime, like if you're into like shooter games, this dude is freaking good. He's called I for an I massive. Like I, the letter I for an I massive. He's really freaking good. I'm surprised. It's not really my kind of game of watching me in play. I'm like, ooh, this is interesting. I don't know if you know the game called SK4 Turkov, but I know he's been playing it out a lot. Been busy I mean, when you watch this stream for a while. He's a freaking cool dude. All right, what can I? Let's put some freaking music from the the tube. Everybody feel like Joe Swing? Cause I do. What am I doing? Freaking love it, actual swing. You played in Vib Ribbon when you weren't around. It's such a good song. And not my favorite from him. Er, I don't remember. Peggy Suave. His music is nice. Everybody, 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 everybody
Do you remember the name? Really like this one. I chose to play it because I loved it when I hear it on your stream. Ah, sweet. Posing. From Peggy Swap. Go support his music. Give a like to his content. It's very impressive how many stuff he can do. Or oh, her. I'm sorry if it's a she. The artist. He does all the drawing that you see in his videos. He has electro swing. He has a tumbler with his heart. It's awesome. Acceleration. We can chillax on this stream. Got to go glasses starting. Class is starting. It's fine. Thank you for joining. See you around, man. What day are we? Thursday? Oh, it's Thursday! Yes, we're on Thursday! Holy fuck! You remember like the pinnacle of YouTube when YouTube was at best, so basically everybody was starting a channel about video games. There's too many Let's Player, let's start a review about gaming channel and it worked. And today it's about anything. Anything! I mean, I miss the time where you two were just not ruled by companies. I mean, I guess I didn't have any choice to do it, if you ask me. But now I, I, I feel like it's mind fucking. Uh, yeah, what I watch on YouTube now is so different than what I watched 10 years ago. I know, right? The same for me. I'm like, oh, cool, a channel about cooking in the wild. Yeah, I watch that. I went back into like Eagle Raptors uh, old animation because I was just fooling around with Mr. Bear. I was like, what, you never see that? And then I just showed it to him, he was like, what the f- 
David, you're weird. I'm like, I'm weird. He's the one that did the animation. I'm just watching it because it's funny. And we broke up. Just kidding, we did it. They tried to explain humor from a long time ago is so hard. I mean, Eagle Raptor like started like on YouTube like as an animator, even though he started in Newground. Uh, that's freaking awesome. I wish I was. I wish I was like a bit older when Twitch started to be a thing, you know. And I was wanted to stream a bit more, didn't have really equipment or anything. But if I was like, if I were, is that is this even a sentence? Like back then, if I if I were. <laughs> If I were like the age I am now, I would have certainly started stream and everything. You know, back in 2010, probably. Cause like the hype train is gone. You know, there's not, there's no like beauty of discovering new channel on Twitch or YouTube anymore. It's always like algorithm gonna lead me somewhere. And there's also so many people. And then the people that rise from YouTube are the people that either do like sketch or like Milton, like or companies or somebody that does um, a scandalous thing or very stupid thing like the putt child, the freaking tight putt challenge and stuff. So, you know what? My public will come eventually. I don't really, I think I already have it, to be honest. I'm very satisfied where I am. But don't get me wrong, I don't want to get the YouTube money. I really don't. I actually think artist Twitch is like scavenger on though. Yeah, it is. They never get recommended, so you have to find them yourself. I know, I always get fucking Ninja recommended to me. I don't watch fucking Fortnite. I don't care about Fortnite. You can play all you want. I really don't care about shooter games. Don't fucking... It's very like kind of insulting too. He has nothing to do with art or anything I'm watching and he's always like being recommended to me. It's always like, oh, you're watching that guy? You know Ninja is on now if you want to. I'm like, no, I want to support people. You know, like, mostly kids are playing Fortnite. <laughs> so you're being popular by beating kids in the game? That's really, uh, something to be proud of, if you ask me. I mean, whatever, I don't really fucking care. People get popular for unknown reason most of the time, so... To be honest, it's rarely because somebody did such a great action. It's either somebody is already super popular, and did something great and you're like, oh, wow, you did something great. But you will always remember the people for the scandalous thing they will do. So be aware of that. Try not to do anything stupid. I think at one point that will happen. So if you look at PewDiePie, you will always be remember for the guy that spread some Nazi stuff or said the N word on the stream one time. Just do your thing.
My lunch break is over, so I gotta go. It's looking great there. Thank you, man. See you around. Thank you for stopping by on your lunch break. Hopefully I'll see you later and remember to save. I'll save right now just for you. Have a good day. I wonder who's left. What time is it now? It is noon. It is noon. Jeez. Maybe I started too early, but at the same time, if I don't start anything, I'll never get somewhere. <laughs> Let's learn to be learned. If you're afraid of trying, you won't go anywhere. And remember, the memories are being forged by doing something different than your routine. So don't be afraid to just like, that one time just instead of going right, go left and take a longer walk to the park or something. Maybe you'll see something you like and you'll be, oh, remember that time? I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like in the end, I'm still the same artist that just draw like anthropomorphic characters for kind of a large public. I would like to say small public still, but it's still a big deal, right? It's been a while since I drew like muscles. That's another thing. Like, I'm always asked to draw like exaggerated proportions and everything. So when it's time to do something that it's kind of like real. I mean, you can see my body, I'm drawing, and you can be like, oh yeah, I can see that on a man. It's a bit more refreshing for me now. I mean, exaggerating a body is always so funny and cool to do. But it's also associated with, like, a sexual need most of the time. For example, a girl with big boots. Oh yeah, Devian Arn, right? Oh, uh, you drew a naked man flag. Oh, this girl has boobs like the size of her freaking tires. So like, there you go. No need to flag that, right? And by one point where I found like the villain was kind of bullshit. It was also like, I just got a flash of like, whoa. It was like this Debian Art account that his heart was about being suicidal. So basically, like, just like you see, like, pills everywhere, and it's like, says yes, and like, Okay. I wasn't too much into that stuff. The other was like kind of an experience. At one point, you're so happy to share your art, and you expect at one point to go somewhere. But really, like, it stops there. Like, I, I don't feel the need of being there anymore. I feel like Twitter is really a better place to be for me. I have like a new reporter that follows me. I know he didn't like anything I'm posting, but it's probably for the best, to be honest. It's not because he's following you that he doesn't care. It's just because it's probably bad for like his career if he starts liking like <laughs> anthropomorphic stuff. That's still appreciated.
it is with the internet, it's always feel like if you unfollow somebody, it's never for a good reason, just because you don't like them anymore. But like I said, like when I, when I knew that my family is following me, I was just, okay, bye, bye. <laughs> Trying to tell the artists, even though if I didn't know them. Like, I can understand that for maybe their eyes, it was more like, this artist is trying to be friend with me, so I won't reply, but at least I've been honest with them. Ugh. It's complicated. Not really. My family is following me. I cannot watch Not Safe For Work stuff. That's it. I still talk with a lot of people that do Not Safe For Work. Doesn't mean that they aren't as bad. So I can see beyond the fact that the sexual need and just be like, ooh. And maybe you don't know. Maybe you can learn something from their art too. Let's save real quick. That's one thing that people keep on telling you too, right? Draw whatever you want, draw whatever you want. Don't care about what people say. Something that not a lot of people are telling you is shit fuck. Not shit fuck, but like. If you're gonna post certain stuff on the internet, be wary of the consequences too. You are responsible of the content you're posting. If somebody said no, then you're an idiot. You are responsible. So, if you want to be like a mindless hypocrite bitch, then be wary of the comments you gotta get, right? I remember that story with this artist. I'm not gonna tell her who. I think he's a wonderful artist, but he did a fan art for a company, which is like an indie company, he likes the game and everything. The fan art is not sexualized or anything, it's just a very well done fan art, it's a very cool painting. But the name he decided to show was very inappropriate. And then he got upset because the company didn't retweet it as the fan art he did. But you're like, bro, your name is really inappropriate. You think the company wants to support, like retweet something with this kind of name? I doubt it. You know, I really doubt it. That was kind of silly. Pretty sure you learn. Like even though you're doing something that is not suitable for all audiences, your profile pic and your editor should always be clean. Give like a, an ID, not traumatize like people are like, what is he doing? And then you're like, oh, that happened to me a lot. Like, oh, this dude seems to, uh, this dude seems cool. And then you go there and it's like, whoops, I don't belong here. <laughs> that happened a lot. And it's my personal opinion. You don't need to show your fetish. To be a good person or an interesting person, it's just gross and creepy and disgusting. It's a fucking public service, you know? Uh, what am I gonna do? No, I'm talking out of my ass. I'm getting the same complaints all the time anyway. <laughs> it's just 
like I say, I feel like I grew past that part. You know, like it's no longer about mm, this person, and I don't care if you like it or not. Fuck off, kind of deal. It's more like I want to be welcoming for everybody, and it feels like it's a more mature approach than. But that's only me. The goal is like, what you want to show is okay, but also you have to be worry, wary of the consequences that may occur. If you're banned from Twitter because you shared something that is not betraying there, then. But who fucking cares? Why am I talking about it? What was the goal of this subject? Never know. I feel lonely. I'm not actually, I'm pretty fine. Do I get my code now for PP? Mm, not yet. I can't wait to play with it. I want to play with Pure and a Plant. I bought Smash Bros exactly just to have Piranha Plant. Have you ever like looked back into your art and be like, oh geez? What a journey. Well, you should. You should just be... Wow. Mr. Bear, keep on telling me, like... The art you were doing before I met you... And the art you were doing, like... A couple months as I was dating you... Versus the art you're doing now. It feels like completely different. Even though you can recognize that it's me. Which is cool. Before it was really more like of a crowd pleaser kind of feel. Now it's more about bits of life. When you look at my recent artwork, it's very much like, or even like comics and stories, very much like. This is a, a silly situation that happened. And you got it, right? I think it's nice. Heart is a big journey. Like, <clears throat> if you're starting, like, Maybe a month ago, if you're 13 and you're just looking out to be a better artist and you want to draw, don't, don't like seek out like experienced artists and say that your heart is bad. It doesn't matter. You want to do what you want to do. Let's just say that I've been drawing probably longer than you do. And this is the reason why my art seems more polished than yours simply because I've been doing it longer than you did so don't get yourself down just because your art doesn't look like mine or anything it's fine To be honest, when I started drawing, I was drawing all the time. I even forgot about school. I was like, fuck school, I want to draw. <clears throat> Probably not the best approach, but you know, like... Also, for a long time in my childhood and teenage, I wasn't really happy, so... The only thing that I was doing that was making me happy was actually drawing. It all changed now, right? 
for the best, I believe. I think I started to draw digitally like when I was 16, 15, 16 I believe, 17. I think it was 16. Like somebody just sold me like his old pen tablet and I started just practicing and everything. That was fun. I was mostly playing in Photoshop and I think Photoshop is good but bad you're like oh yeah you know like there's stuff I like and there's stuff I hate and then uh, for every like good thing there's always like the part that you're like come on Photoshop no software is good I mean whoop no software is the best I should say or perfect no software is perfect. Let me save that. There we go, check the references. Did I miss anything? Okay, well I guess he has like fluffier Hope the PP is good. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on Twitter because there was also the references is there. It's nice. Like, I'm happy that people were just supportive. <laughs> On like Piranha Plan. I'm just silly. I just wanted to make a journal about it. I find it funny. I really wanted just to uh, make a video about Nintendo refusing my call since they are too busy. But in the end, I talked with somebody and it was very, very cool. So we got this Minotaur character. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say bull. He's a Minotaur. Do, 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 do. I couldn't share like uh, the reference of this character since it's very not safe for work. So this is why I decided to just do some preparation. So we got the mane, we got the nose, we got the blah blah blah. We're never too sure in this uh, day and age. I mean, never too sure. I don't want to show like anthropomorphic character being naked on my stream, obviously. How bad would it be, right? No one wants that. They go with a clear sky this time. Gonna hide that for a bit. This or this? This seems too dark, right? But if I spread it a bit more, it feels like more natural lighting. I kind of want to go more like. Turquoise. Ooh, turquoise. Give it a certain kind of. It's not very summery, the music I put, I have to admit. I 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I want it darker. There we go. And now it's time for the spiral that everybody keep on telling me why you do it. No, just kidding. They all tell me like, yeah, it's good. It's great. I love it. Like, Thanks. I mastered the art of head banging while drawing. So, yeah. Don't at me. I love when people are telling me I have good taste in music because every time I'm like, it's not like, oh, thanks. It's like, I know, right? I'm super excited about it because I like to support like indie artists. <laughs> My family, on the other hand, are like, your music fucking sucks. And I'm like, come on, why? It's not because I'm not into like fucking Britney Spears fucking old rock that you need to be like your music fucking sucks i hate it only with my family the rest of my friends are like what the how the fuck do you find such good music wow <laughs> family no i really fucking <laughs> doesn't matter it's fine i don't talk to them just kidding i do i love them still Okay, the thing is like, he told me that water, he want water to be around his knee. So I'm just gonna do it real quick, like in white, or well, almost white, like I did yesterday with uh, Mr. Pat. I freaking know, man. It's so itchy on the inside, it's all the dry blood, I know it's gross. But try to understand. Yeah, this plushy splashies. This is why I hate doing characters in water. I need to put layer in front that will look good. But in the same time, I need to put layers that goes in back of the character. 
so i need to blend both of them properly if not it looks kind of weird and it's just i'm just uh. <laughs> since it's for almost just one leg so now we do like I did yesterday we paint and when we paint we have fun and when we have fun we paint you know thing Now you can guess that the main focus on the picture to make it more complete is to do clouds. I'll rework the water later. Like I said, you put some smudge of colors and then you rework it later. I don't know if I just do it like that. Yeah, okay. Do 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 you remember to say hey. They were like my favorite memories for me to draw clouds are actually the time I was playing Mario Sunshine. It's so like vibrant, it's so like summertime, it's so like <clears throat> and the clouds are so like well done and everything. That and uh Zelda Wind Waker. I really love the principle of going on an adventure at sea or like an island very close to the beach. It's probably why like uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon is my favorite just because it's so alive. You go to tropical places and you're like, oh fuck yeah, vacation, sunlight. That made me think, like... Maybe... What was I about to say? Yeah, like, why, why don't Nintendo, like, release those games again? Mario Sunshine and everything. I know that like, it's kind of broken at some point.
smudge of colors. I'm gonna keep white as in the colors. So no. Painting cloud is really one of my favorite things to do all the time. Maybe it's a bit too dark to be honest. This is really how it goes. If I'm not streaming, not talking. I mean, if I'm not streaming, I'm not talking to myself, obviously, like I'm doing now. Trying to produce, like, kind of like entertainment or anything. I just put my music, I just draw, slash paint, and I go. You look at, you look back at it, you're like, what do I like and what do I hate? And then I really don't like the way the cloud looks like in the right side. I'm gonna restart it. If you don't make mistakes, you can't repair them. I mean, what am I saying? Inspirational quote number 525. There you go. You don't be afraid to just restart it. Eh? Like, I do well want my cloud to just be shown it's not really something that come naturally so here we go let's start again Is it better? I can tell. Thank you. 
Is Snapchat still a thing? I guess it is, but like... I mean, I have it installed on my phone, but like, I never... I don't have people being like, Oh man, are you on Snapchat? We can share like some stupid shit. feel silly again like I feel like we go way back into the start or like where it the best way to share information with your audiences I still think it's Twitter Twitter is way like far ahead than every other or even Facebook but Facebook is more like crazy I mean, it's mostly used by old people by now. Her new moms. I know new moms are very into Facebook. It's like at one point, uh, I had friends that had kids. I was happy for her and everything. But we don't talk anymore. She always said, oh, come to my place. If you want, I'll show you my kid. And then it's just annoying. It's not like you go see your brothers or your sisters because you just have kids and everything. Going to see a friend and ask kid is just so disconnected. It feels so disconnected. It's just weird. Depend on the friends again. But the thing with mine, she's like that she has to yell to her children all the time. And it's really not fun. So in the end, you go and see them. And all you can say is that, well, I, it, it was something. Cause you can relate or maybe not maybe you're too young or... <laughs> like when your parents bring you like to like your cousin that you don't like because they are either pieces of shit people or i have like my mom had friends that asked kids and every time they were around every time she was like they are coming over Everybody in my family, brothers, and my brothers were just like, Ugh. because they break our fucking doors. Fuck those people. We already don't have much, and you're just like, yeah, let's go there. It's not our toys anyway, so fuck them, right? Fuck you. When you were a kid, your toys is like your treasures. I don't have much. At least I have this toy that I like a lot. And then they come over. We were hiding our toys and everything. But they keep like... I don't know how they were just like finding them. And they were using them like in the stupidest ways possible. And when they leave. You go back to your toys and they are just like broken. And like the fucking lame excuse as, but they are young, you know, they didn't mean it. And like, no. Fucking. I hate that excuse. If they are young, then you should watch what they are doing, not just be like, oh, yeah, they gotta be with my kids. Like, it's like forced babysitting with people that you fucking don't care about and you fucking hate because they just break everything. Pray for God is not available? What? what? What have I read from Gmail? Pray to God? Pray to God is not available or an early access. Oh, are you kidding? I want to play that game for so long. 
been three years since I pre-ordered, like I just like put it in my wish list. Now it's dead. It's the pre a for God. Pry a for gods. Pry a for gods. I think they mistake it. They put a P R A E Y. Pry a for gods. Wow, I'm happy for them. It's like a, a action RPG where you need to find fight ginormous boss. It's kind of like a mix of a, a Shadow of the Colossus mixed with Dark Soul. If I have to put it in a kind of way that people will understand, if I just say action RPG, it's pretty rare that somebody is like, oh yeah, no other, I should say. Before it was fine, it was like action RPG, and everybody was like, oh, yeah, action RPG. Now you have to go with like Souls like game so that people understand what it is. It's like a Castlevania is a team. A term. Metroidvania? This all, yeah, this is all you say it. It's like people that know what it is, it's fine, I guess. A veteran gamer as they call themselves. But for new gamers like that never played any Metroid and Castlevania because it's from the very far away era. They would just don't understand. Like I didn't hear any update from that game for like so long. I thought I was just like a cancel project. I'm happy it's early access. I don't know if I want to buy like an early access because what I hate about uh, games is just like restarting. It's like, do you remember the game called... Stranded Deep. Well, that, that was uh, like far ago I was like an early access and their early access hype was so big that when the game was released for real nobody really cared I didn't hear any news about that game too that's not very good water it sucks, I'll just delete it. I'm ashamed of myself. pretty nervous about early access depend on the game Somnatica was able to pull it out pretty well
But like the forest, for instance, I know they just updated like the game massively, but the ending makes no freaking sense. It just felt like they were like, we're done with this game. We want to do something else. It felt like that. It felt this way. to me it just feels like i just did some veins you know sometimes less equal more so i'll just keep on working correctly on it probably the reason why i'm not very happy with the water is basically because i'm trying to put too much stuff in the same place also with this weird perspective of like clothes and then it's the same water, even though it's far away. It F's me up before you go-go. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. I like that Dance with the Dead is basically everything I was looking for band. And I finally found it like last year. I wonder what they're gonna do for next album. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it because I like everything they've been done. You must admit when you're concentrating on making something that looks decent, beautiful, etc. It's pretty hard it's pretty hard to even concentrate on making it look good and talk at the same time. But I hope you don't mind that sometimes I go quiet for a bit. Also I'm sometimes trying to find out what can I talk about. I think I covered mostly anything that happened to me lately. So I'm trying to find out some subject. Maybe he's trying to find some word of encouragement for US artists out there. Just don't give up, bruh. Everybody can be good at art. Everybody can be good at what you like to do. It just takes 
different time from everybody. It's okay. I've been in your shoes before you think that everything went easy on me. Nope, it wasn't. There were times where I felt down because my artwork wasn't giving really the result I was expecting. Uh, or like you work your ass to do an artwork and the critics are bad or like you get trolled or like stuff like that don't let those people bring you down you can do it take it as an experience even though it might be a negative one there are shitty people everywhere you will never escape them even though if you try you can always prevent it in a certain way whatever you do they're always gonna be those kind of people just saying I know it's not really a good encouragement, but you need to be able to be strong. And be able to be like, yeah, whatever. Like I do. And the more you go on your journey, the more you will get somebody, people that look into you and be like, I really like his stuff. It's always a pleasure. To hear that good comments on your art and knowing that people are looking into you they want to encourage you is very really cool but it takes some time to build a public Don't be afraid to try new things. But most importantly, always, always have fun. If you don't have fun doing something you enjoy, that you don't enjoy it. Or you tried, you know, maybe. Maybe you were like, I want to be an artist. You tried and then you realize it's probably not for you. It's okay too. It's okay to admit that you didn't enjoy it. Nobody will be, oh, okay. I mean, everybody will be like, oh, okay. You know, nobody will be like, oh, you fucking clip. Like it's about how much mo motivation I can give people. I feel like I just repeating myself, but there's no really like secret victory, a potion or like. Just you do what you want to do. Be selfish with your art too. Don't let other people bring you down. If you want to draw something this way, then do it. Like you don't know, maybe in the end people will recognize you for it, like the way I'm doing my cloud and sky. Maybe. I'm just saying a lot of maybes. It's cursed. <laughs> You can always seek out from art tutorial on so online on YouTube there's a shit ton of free material don't be fooled by those fucking assholes that keeps on telling you want to be good at art well you know when I started I had an hundred followers now that I follow this course I have 11,000 followers fuck that if you want to be good at art it's not because you want to be popular it's because you want to be good it's because you enjoy me trying to do better. It's because you enjoy all the process you have to go through. It's not about popularity. Art is not about popularity. Art is not about popularity.
Art is about having fun, trying some new things, discovering who you are, what kind of artwork you want to produce. Doesn't need to be anthropomorphic if you don't want to. Never know. You know, at first I was always drawing like a manga, Japanese anime thing. Hi for an eye, what's up? Have as got like episode of Black Mirror, the one where people lives are live are affected by <laughs> the popularity and amazing wake up call. Yeah, I guess. What's up, Big D? Oh geez. Hello. I'm surprised to see you here. I was talking about you earlier. Yeah, I haven't been streaming for a bit, working at some small renovation. Oh, that's nice. I haven't been able to join a lot of stream lately, honestly. At least trying to find material. Are you done playing uh, Escape from Tarkov or something? Sugar sucks. <laughs> How long have you been actively trying to improve your art skill? Since I was 12 slash 14, I don't know. I'd say it's been a good... A, a good 16 years. At least. Minimum. Now the game is in a weird place at the moment. Really? That's weird. Damn, yeah, I've been drawing for a lifetime, man. And it took me like so many years to realize what kind of artwork I want to do. Asking myself if I actually want to do uh, commissions or not. And comics and everything. Wait, it's kind of too... Like I said, like don't see artists that are experienced as like bringing your art to go down because I've been training and practicing for like probably longer than than your skill or you're just you're just starting. Just don't don't think about it too much. I've been off and on for a decade, but I have only started to take it seriously in the last year. Got a long way to go. Well, you don't need to. You can just keep it a hobby. You don't need like. To be honest, I'm not forced to post anything online either. It's not because you like to draw it; you need to post it, right? I know it's kind of fun to see what people think about it and how many likes you can get about it. But there are some times where I'm like, "No, nah, I don't feel like it." I think I, I think I put her music. Shiroban, it's been a while. Yeah, why not? God, I forgot what this music is about. I feel like his hair is in like the same color of like his body. 
Gotta frick me over. Like the picture he sent me seems like to be darker, so I think it's just. Never be serious, always be playful. Except when you do your taxes. But even then, I mean, if you find a way to make it joyful. Score! Kind of nice to be honest. I mean, I have to stay at home and draw. You know the people that does that, except from the people I talk with in the internet. Other than that, I don't. It's crazy. chest there and everything for a bit boo 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 wait what is that okay. hey eye for an eye is there any game you're excited for in 2019 I personally don't have any game that I'm like super excited about except maybe Subnautica Below Zero. That's really the only game. I don't even know what's coming out this year. Metro Exodus? Hmm. It's the first time I hear about it. Gonna be a great single player. You think? <laughs> Nips. Yes, nips. I usually don't draw them. But sometimes I do exceptions. But sometimes I just don't care. <laughs> I mean, if... I don't need to explain this thing so many times by now. Like, I'm tired of it. There you go, they are there, they exist. People have nipples in real life. Wow. Shocking, isn't it? Great book. Great books. This music drives me insane by now. I'm just gonna switch to something a bit calmer. Uh... Yeah, nipple grin. Can you make me? <laughs> that... <laughs> that... <laughs> I'm gonna ask Mr. Bear about this one.
it's always weird when earlier you stream for like a younger audiences but then the adult shows up I gotta check it after the stream <laughs> and then I'll come to your stream and laugh how does that sound Wait, I don't want let's put it out colors instead. Thanks man, but no stream today. Gotta help my sister move. Oh, okay. You'll say hi for me to her. She misses you guys. Oh, I've been freaking busy, and Mr. Bear started a new um, a new job. So you know, trying to survive here. So I've heard. Yeah, you guys talks more on uh, Discord than I do. For me, it's always about businesses and other people to talk with. I know I'm always welcome to the server, of course, but like honestly, like once I'm done streaming and do my own things, I don't feel like getting into servers and stuff. It's a very clear balloon. Beach balls. I don't know why I decided to go with such vibrant colors, but I mean, why not? Why not? Be the person that rocks the most work hours out of all of us, indeed. And the thing that somebody told me the other day that I kind of agree with is my ma my mind always works. I cannot shove that, like I cannot turn off my brain and do something else. I always think about new ideas and you commission ideas, talking with people about drawings and comics and everything. It feels like my brain never shut up until I get to a place where there's a lot of people. You know, like a party for instance. Not saying that in a bad way, you know. Like Mr. Bear is a very like physical dude. He goes to work and has to do physical labor for a bit, for a long time. But when he comes home, he doesn't want to do anything. He can just like play a game and shut his brain off. For me, it's like if I play a game, I have to analyze everything that's in the game. You know, like the artwork, the everything. It's crazy. It's because I have a passion for art and like, it's there. <laughs> That what happened when you dive into your job at first. It's very normal. Yeah, it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm freaking lucky to do this job. Never been this happy in my life. This is a very weird balloon. Let's say like there's like another color to block here or it's the same color. Let's have another color just for fun. I'll leave it like that. I don't think I need those anymore.
Amazing water effect, thank you. I've been working really hard on that water today. Been trying different things. But then in the end, the simplicity always worked better. Class, I just hand in and you're still alive. Yes. Welcome back, you draws it going. I just want to act like you just run a bit. You get the point to try to catch the balloon and then boop. Horns, am I right? What class did you win in? Which is like English class? What was that? My switch just like turned on. What? News. Game with Demon. I don't care. I just want my freaking piranha plant. Just give it to me, bro. It was database one. Was it something that happened? Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm streaming. I'm happy. I'm an epic camper. Whoa, Jesus Christ, my. Okay. Everything's under control. I'm just freaking out for no reason, as I always do. It was that a base one. Ooh, and what does that mean? How does that translate to me? Uh, a guy that doesn't know anything about computer except that I use them to work. <laughs> what is database? I don't even know if it's related to computer. Excellent like as I am. You're waiting for Nintendo to uh, give you PP? Pee -pee? Yeah. Nintendo doesn't want to give me my PP. Pee -pee. Well, you know, are you were, were you there when I said that? Um, I was about to contact them, finally. Like I called the customer service in French. I had more chance to contact somebody in French, to be honest, since in America, like the Oak Canada and uh, America in the same basket. So basically, if you want a service in English, you gotta wait longer. There's more English people in, in America, obviously. So uh, surprisingly, for like after the seventh time trying to call them in the last three days, uh, I was able to. Somebody was able to answer me, and you know, they said that they're gonna send me another code. No problem, I'm gonna receive it in the next uh, 24 hours. And if I don't receive it in the next 48 hours, I can call the customer service again and just give in the code that this person gave me so they will know exactly what to do without me, uh, without wasting much time. Oh, did you call already? Yeah. Do you have a code? Yes, this. Oh, okay, it's that. Okay, I'll do it by. It's basically how it's gonna go if it doesn't show up. I'm pretty sure it's gonna show up this time around. I haven't the, I haven't bought like new uh, switch controllers. There's something that I hate is that the left stick, the next like the left joystick on the switch, mine is like the blue one. I get like this glitch that I don't like. It's basically. Uh, not responding as fast as I would like to or not responding at all 
The number of times I was playing Smash Bros with uh, just holding my Switch in my hand and every time I wanted to run, to run, to run, it was just walking. Or like if I want to charge a Smash, it will just do a, it will just do a, a tilt attack. Or not move at all, you know? It's pretty aggravating. Mostly if you want to play against friend and you need to be fast. For a while I thought I was sucking at the game. And then I discovered his problem, so I'm like I can just practice it, I guess. Jarcons are poopy in my opinion, yes they are. But I mean, they are still good to play Mario Party or like uh, Mario Kart. It's just if you play a game that needs fast reflexes, don't play with Joy-Cons. I'm gonna start to play more and more with uh, my GameCube controllers, like I bought so many of them. One, because I like the colors and I like to just... <laughs> I like to just collection them to be honest. Well, Smash Ultimate was as a weird buffer system, so sometimes inputs are just eating up. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I'm just like, what? I'm pretty sure I pressed the R button to avoid that it, and then nope. They just didn't register. So I get like a it that I was sure I protected and they just didn't put it in. So I'm like... Hairs. That's an airy motherfucker. And every motherfucker that paid to be hairy. Uh -huh. Muscle, am I right? <laughs> but yeah, at one point, it's fun. I think it's just fun, just like line wise. I don't know if it makes any sense the way I'm gonna phrase it. But as you draw, you wanna try new stuff, new stuff. And drawing muscle is like just something fun to practice. Even if you're not gay, you're like, yeah, man, I wanna draw a superhero. Wait, was it on stream that one time? Yeah, I did it on stream, isn't it? Like comparing muscles from like uh, Escanor from the Seven Deadly Sins versus how it should be drawn, and the character look like three times better because they try to add too much muscle details where it shouldn't. To like, it, it's just weird. Good luck, boy. You are drawing. Yeah, I am drawing. It's basically done at this point, honestly. <laughs> I kind of want a balloon with those colors now. I mean balloon by balloon, I mean... Uh, a beach ball. I wonder if you get any trouble for calling my next Smash Bros. team playing with PP. Look, I appreciate it. But it's still my joke. So you're stealing my joke, so you're stealing my property. We're not friends anymore. No, just kidding. I don't think you would. I think it's just silly. You know, it's either I call it uh PP or Pyramid like or Mr. Plant. Because I think it's it's cute. Do you pose any answer for asking for a friend? Alright, asking for a friend. I'm not gonna answer on stream <laughs> uh, 
I like Mr. Plant. That's a sweet name. I know, right? Mr. Plant! <laughs> Rizargo did a very cute drawing of Piranha Plant. You like Mr. and names? Yeah, I do too. And I like... Uh, like to just finish the, a name with I, you know, E. A e sound, so I can ma make it rhyme with McGee. I'd have to do that. It looks glossy a bit, but at the same time, it's like in the water. I guess less will work better. <laughs> Plastic, it's fine. I mean, maybe a bit less. <laughs> I must admit that I've been surprised lately that you think that a person that's gonna commission me is asking for um, a commission that's gonna be kind of dirty and you don't feel like replying to them. But then in the end, they are just asking for something extremely clean. And it's very appreciated. Another message. Is it a Gmail with the code for Purana Plant? No, it's somebody streaming. It's Fighter PL is streaming. <laughs> I haven't watched Fighter PL in forever. Mostly because I'm tired of Dark Souls 3. Like I've watched so many Dark Souls content and at one point I'm like, yeah, it's fun and all, but one gets very tired of watching the same game for a while. I mean, mostly if you play it daily, like, when I discovered Fighter PL, I was playing the game like crazy, and then I was like, if I'm not playing the game, I'm gonna watch somebody play the game. Then I lost interest watching somebody play the game when I can just do a run myself. For a while I did that. Am I doing the same mistake again? Yeah. Adding too much white. But at the same time, it's in the water. Water is reflection. I think I'll stop adding white. I think it's pretty much done. Ah, it's time for the... What I like to call the... Effect. Like the kind of like effect that make it looks like... Oh, wait, shoot, I forgot something. Water, splashy splashies. Gonna go there. I wanna have like some sparklies. It's water. You need some sparkles. This then sparkles, right? No, in Photoshop, what was fun is I had like a brush that was mimicking the water perfectly. As you can see, I lost all my brushes and everything, so. I'm just doing it with what I have. Sparkle, sparkle! It doesn't like. It's there! <laughs> It has a bit. And then you look at a distance, you see sparkles on the lake or like in the ocean. It's pretty cool. I personally love speakle. Alright! It's time to add some... Filter. Some filthy filter. Got some fucking colors, man. Let me fucking make it. But then you had a bit of blue on the bottom. The practical effect. And then Lumiere the music. You got this awesome feel that is like, yep, it's summer. 
Of course I'm not gonna leave it at 100%, it's too orangey. It's basically meant for the picture to be a bit more vibrant, more lively, more like... Look at that, you can feel that this is summertime and it's in during the day. Nice soup! Great job, thank you! Doing my best, as always. You can barely see it, isn't it? This. this is like a this is our represent like uh, this sound it's this is what happens when you have horns just feel embarrassed and ashamed of yourself. No, you put it like kind of centered and then you look hmm what does it misses to make could make it look better oh what I've done the That can be funny too, but like there's something silly about something slowly like disinflating. My troll hurts. That's the sound. <laughs> Fucking love it. <laughs> <That's the laughs> All right, I think I'm pretty much complete with that art piece. I'm gonna show it to my clients, see if there's something I need to change, but I think I'm pretty much done. Enough with that mating call, though. Come on, man. <laughs> well, if I need to call Mr. Bear like this when I. You know what? Never mind. I'm logging out. <laughs> uh, I guess I can like go and send my viewer to Fighter PL, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just close the stream. It was very cool to start to finish. I'm gonna post it on YouTube if you're ever interested to see it till the start to finish. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm pretty much done for today. I'm gonna take a break, got a snack, and I'll probably draw more tonight, I think. I think I have time. Eh, we'll see. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you again. Goodbye.